Um, today I'm going to do a really, hopefully short uh, tutorial on how to create a fried egg and this is pretty much the final outcome of what it should look like. Obviously because this is going to be a recreation it won't look exactly the same but I'm just going to do a walk over on what you need to do to achieve a result like this. Okay, also because fried eggs are my favorite. I just love eggs in any kind of form really. I eat two eggs a day and that is pretty much the equivalent of my excitement when I have coffee during the day. All right, okay, so let's get right to it. Um, I, a great background. Let's do the great background first. So it helps that I have this open so this way I'm not fishing around for different colors. Um, where's my eyedropper tool? There we go. So there's the gray background. All right, so to get the yolk, the white part of the, lo the yolk looking like that, well, sorry, not the yolk, the egg, you just do a white circle. Right now it's showing gray because I had gray selected. And to get this little wavy background, what I simply did was go under effects, trans distort and transform, and roughen. And roughen pretty much, make sure you have preview selected so you can see what it looks like. This is what it shows you currently because we are set to corners. So you want to change that to smooth. And this is just way too much detail going on. So let's tone down the detail to like one and then the size of it as well. So you want to play around with this to get something that you would be pleased with or in your opinion looks like an egg. So I'm happy with this. I'm going to select that and go OK. Uh, not bad. So let's go for the yolk now. Let's select the color ahead of time, like a nice orange color. And this time I'll put the yolk in the center. So there we go. Once we have this, this looks like a very flat version of an egg, which is great. Uh, to create this detail, the shine and that 3D effect, all I'm going to do is go Control C, which copies the circle, Control F, which pastes it over. So now I have two circles. All right, so um, let's make this a little bit smaller in size. So scale it down. So let's scale it down by 90%. Preview, there we go, I'm good with that. And to, to get these effects, instead of just selecting this and trying <laughs> and trying and trying and trying to get different colors that go, like look how nasty that looks. What I have done is I've just selected white and then I've opened my transparency. Where is my transparency? Transparency right there. So it's Windows transparency. And I've just dimmed it down to say, 10% no let's go a little bit higher okay okay let's let's do this and then I want this to go to the very edge of the circle okay now I'm going to do another one so copy control C control F for paste in place um, let's scale it down again by another 90 scale it down to 90% okay and this time, so the previous one was 20, this one I will make 10. And let's, let's have this one go to the very top edge off it. Now it doesn't quite, actually yeah it does, it looks pretty similar to that. The, Look how this makes such a huge difference. Just because that's missing over here, it made such a huge difference. So now I'm just gonna take this, the circle tool, and just make a regular 
oval shaped circle, if you will. Again, I'm going to make it white instead of the gray. And for this, I will put it down to, let's try 25. Nope. 30. Mildly better. Let's do 35 and see what that looks like. Yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm good with 35. Yeah, I'm good with 35, that's fine. Now, you'll notice that over here, I've made them a little more oval. And over here, I just left them, because I just copied and pasted the, the outer yolk, it's just circular and I did not squish it down. So let's squish it down right now. There you go. So then this way, this can sort of sit right at the edge. And let's squish this one too. Perfect. I like that yolk. That's not bad. Now, uh, we want to get like a little bit of a shadow to give this more depth. So again, select the outer circle. Control C for copy. And this time we want to paste this behind it. So it's Control B for pasting in place but behind. And so now as I'm tabbing it down and to the right, you notice an extra one, um, an extra copy of it. So how I normally like to pick my grays, especially when there's a background, I'll pick the background. And then from there, I'll just go to the color selector and pick something lighter on the scale. And so we have something like that, which is not bad. So really, guys, over here, it's just a preference thing. You can decide what sort of gray and how you want it to look. Uh, I still think this is a little too dark, so let's go something that's a little closer to white. Maybe buy one more. Yeah, that's not bad. It's not exactly like this one, but that's fine. Um, so the shadow for the yolk, and now we need almost like a shadowy sort of detail for the white part of the egg. So again, control C for copy, control F for paste in front and in place. Um, so again, to make sure you have two copies, there you go, control Z to go back. So the way we would do this is, so I want just the edge to be something that shows up, but I want it to maintain this flowy effect. So we already have the copy for this, but let me expand it so it retains all the edges. Perfect. And now I'm going to do another copy of it. So control C, control F. And I'm going to tab it up a little bit, not too much, maybe just one and then two spaces, select the back, select both of them together. And this time open my Pathfinder, which again can be found under Windows Pathfinder. Okay, mine's open. And I want to select divide. And this pretty much breaks the two pieces that are joined together in wherever they intersect. So now I, I, I have two pieces and I can just select the pieces that I don't want. Okay, and so I'm left with this edge, which is perfect. And now I need that edge to be a gray. So let's pick the same gray from the center and see if that works or not. I am, am I okay with that? No, not really. Let's go a little bit lighter because otherwise it looks almost like the egg is that thick and it isn't. We just want to give it some depth. So that's not too bad. Um, let me make sure that this is also expanded so we're not confused. Okay, so this is perfect. So now I want to create this outer shadow as the last bit for this. So copy, control C, copy, 
control B to paste in place but behind. And so again, if you tab over, you'll see that there's another copy of it, which is still white. So we want it to be gray. Again, I picked the gray background and from there, open my color picker and then just go a little bit lower. So it's darker, but it matches the gray that we have going on and it makes sense. And so this is the egg. Not bad, eh? So let's fancy it up with some wording like fried egg. Yeah, I have fried egg, so original, I know. What I use to do this is I like doing my own lettering. So I simply picked the blob brush tool and I found it really fun to use and easy to use. But I don't know. Tell me what you guys think of it. Let's pick a... Uh, pick pink why not and I guess you can write in in any style you feel like but for me cursive is a big thing so let's just go with that oops control D control Z to undo all right so I'm gonna write there we go fried Actually, I don't like how that fried looks. Let's try it again. That's better. Let's do the circle again. Better. Okay. And fried egg. Okay, let's try it again. Not bad. Okay. So as you can see, when you select these, you'll see that, oh, wow, it's already a path and that's awesome and amazing. So let's just select them and go control G, which groups them together. So now if I want to move stuff around, they all move as opposed to just one piece at a time. Um, again, I want to create a shadow. So let's do that. So you guessed it. Control C for copy, control B for paste in place, but behind. And let's just tab it down a little bit and select the gray from the background. Open the color picker and just go a little bit darker. And let's see what it looks like. There we go. I think it could go down a little bit more. Yep. I think we have a winner. I like how this looks. So this is my fried egg tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. Sorry, that was my other computer. Hope you guys liked it. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I hope this was fun for you like it was for me. And uh, catch you soon. Bye.